Tonight, leaders in Port Arthur remain on edge after a heated city council meeting Tuesday night. Mayor Thurman Barty became upset after a majority of the council refused to pay for him to attend a special session at an upcoming conference. We want you to hear a brief exchange that happened during last night's meeting. No, I'm not getting mad at him. Let me but don't do it. I'm going to say that. Mayor, I'm not going no, to No, I just express what that, I said. No, no, but but don't say I'm getting out of there. Get out of hand right. calling us bigots. Okay, you did. The mayor had already been approved to attend that congressional city conference in Tampa this November. He tells 12 News he just wanted to go for two extra days. 12 News reporter Kayla Chote caught up with Mayor Barty and uh, Kayla, he's refusing to apologize tonight. Dorden, Brenda, Mayor Barty tells me every networking opportunity he receives at conferences is necessary to grow Port Arthur. He says his comment at yesterday's city council meeting was not said in anger, but in truth. The bigotry and jealousy and dis, dis, discontent that uh, assails in this room has a stench. That was Port Arthur Mayor Thurman Barty's response to city council voting against a $1,327 bill to allow him to attend pre-conference activities in November. Knowledge is being disseminated. You have to be there to be able to absorb. And you are networking with experts in the various fields that deal with, with the topics that they are presenting. That's why I voted yes. Barty, Councilman Frank, and Councilwoman Hamilton Everfield voted in favor of three additional days of lodging, food, and educational sessions. This city is not going to progress because of that. You're not hurting Thurman Barty. I'm only going to try to learn some things to be a, an even better mayor. Barty continued that argument the next day. We all should be attending, everybody on council. During the discussion, which was not a part of the agenda, at-large council member Thomas Kinlaw walked out. That situation could have been handled differently, but you know, he's his own person. So he's responsible for what he says. Kinlaw says he voted no because city council already has a travel policy that outlines pre-approved conferences. I voted no. So taxpayers wanted us to police ourselves as council members, as well as uh, uh, understanding that if it's not a need or if it will not be a need, we adhere to the travel policy that we have in place. Council members asked the mayor to apologize. Barty says he still stands by what he said. Why would I owe an apology for stating factual information? And those things that I expressed are true and factual. Barty tells me he's now plans to attend the special session on his own dime. In studio, Kayla Shote, 12 News. All right.